Hi everyone, I'm going to eat your asshole in the middle of the night and today I'm going to do my top 5 A24 films. Yeah! I tried doing this video like 5 fucking times and each time didn't work because my ass was like speaking too long. So I'm just going to describe each film by just one fucking word because I, I, I can't keep doing this shit like over and over without me trying to do it fucking fuck coming in number five is the uncut gems adam sandler i'm i'm gonna i mean uh, uh there, there 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 it go there it fucking goes again five 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 five, five is uncut gems uh i'm silent you're 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 a creep fucking jew and you're you're, you're you, you did method acting good four is the lighthouse this is avant-garde at its finest with just two men one of them is just fucking weird and then one of them is just fucking crazy it, it, it's in it's in it's interesting number three is is moonlight uh this is probably like the best lgbtq movie uh i personally prefer portrait of a later fighter more because it's more of a satisfying movie than moonlight however moonlight is very fucking original between its awesome shots its writing and its colorful characters. Also, the off-screen death on that movie is fucking genius. Two is the Florida Project. Uh, a lot of people wouldn't like this film, mostly because of the girl uh, that plays this movie. Um, really, if you like, if you just can't acknowledge the fucking film, which you, you're just like brainwashed, just think that it's the girl that's the character to hate. When really, it's just the mother that just raised her. It's just, she's not like always like that. It's just the mother that just raised her to be like that. I did kind of hate the girl character um, when watching the movie like the first few times but it did grow on me I just kind of think you know I was like the mother you know overall but I mean there's like so many beautiful moments where like you just live life the best way you can even even if you're like the lowest fucking standards even if you have like the fucking shittiest time or going through the shittiest time of your life you, you could still enjoy it and my number one is Ladybird uh yeah this is this is no fucking stranger I mean I literally own this fucking movie on um, you know, I'm not gonna fucking get it because I feel like I've got, I flex on that movie too much. Yeah, some people would say this is too much of a white movie. Like, there's there's not a single black person on that movie, and or Mexican. I think, I, I think, I mean, there was some fucking Facebook comment. I don't fucking care, man. I mean, there's other movies that do that too, so, I mean, then they end up being personal favorites. So I just know why people don't like this film as much as others. I mean, it seems like The Farewell was more of a overrated movie to me. Because I cannot, these fucking bikers think they're shit when they write, you know, go suck a fucking nut. Anyways, I just, you know, I just think Lady Bird is just for me. It's just my top one movie. And that is it. That is my top five A24 films. I hope this video wasn't long. I mean, I think, I think this is going to be a stupid long ass video. But, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed my video or this, this shitty list. Drop your top 5 A24 films um, in the comments. I mean, three of the fucking films I mentioned are on fucking Netflix, so you might as well watch you know, all three of them. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end it. I am tired. I'm, I'm gonna eat your asshole at 3 a.m. Hi everybody, I'm going to eat your asshole while I'm in the middle of the night. Oh shit.